Hello everyone, welcome to the session on how to use Auto Harmonic Screener Ultimatrix. This is a new indicator which is designed specifically to be used with Pine Screener Utility. If you're not aware of what Pine Screener uh, Utility is, take a step back and watch our previous video on using how to use uh, Pine Screener Utility. You can go to our profile. Um, you can put a trader scope uh, and then if you if you go to the idea section it will be the first idea uh, which is uh, which is in the list uh, because this is the latest one um, you can just open this video and understand like how to use pine screener utility but we'll also cover a little bit in this session but it may not be as extensive as this one right um Let's get started with uh, the current session. So today what we're going to cover is that we're going to cover following things. One is the difference between auto harmonic screener um, indicator that we recently published and auto harmonic pattern ultimatics. Um, the, what is the major difference between these two? And also we have another um, indicator called as auto harmonic pattern screener. Um, just a, yeah, I think this is the one. So automatic pattern screener, uh, we'll also discuss like uh, what is the difference between this and the new one. Uh, the plan is to uh, gradually retire this one. Uh, this has some limitation. Uh, it uses request.security uh, to compare this, uh, compare and scan across multiple um, instruments. But that's not uh, that's not efficient. And uh, since the pattern screener utility is in, uh, in place, um, like, you know, it has uh, we can do more with respect to developing the scripts according to the Pine Screener utility. Right? So the plan is to um, gradually retire this once users are comfortable enough to use the new script. Right? Um, and also we'll uh, go through the indicator settings in um, you know in detail. Uh, they are mostly same as auto harmonic pattern mathematics, uh, but we'll go through in detail shortly and uh, and we'll discuss on these things. And finally, uh, we'll have a short demo on how to use this with uh, Pine Screener Utility. All right, so let's get started. So first thing first, uh, the difference between the Auto Harmonic Screener Ultimatrix and Auto Harmonic Pattern Ultimatrix. So the algorithm which is used in both of them are kind of same. Um, it's like the default setting is same. So if you enable Auto Harmonic Pattern Ultimatrix, which is which I've loaded here, the 6.5 is the latest version, you'll see the same pattern by default with the default settings. But if you change the settings, it may vary. But with the default settings, these two will match, and you may uh, you'll most probably find the same patterns. The difference is uh, this Auto Harmonic Screen Ultimatrix. It's a lightweight script. This is designed more to work with uh, Pine Screener Utility. So in Pine Screener Utility, you can scan across multiple symbols, like thousands of symbols, uh, not thousands, like maximum thousand symbols. So um, that has to be lightweight. Like and if you have it as heavy as Ultimatrix, it won't run. It will give runtime errors. So that's why we try to make it uh, as light as possible in, um, in the screener script. So if you look at this uh, settings, most probably they are same. Uh, apart from some display settings and alert settings, all these things are remote. But if you look at uh, the settings of screener and this, they're kind of same. Like, you know, you'll have the section for selecting the patterns, what all patterns you want to see, and uh, stop entry targets. Um, one thing here is like, you know, we are using a single stop entry, single target here, uh, so in case of stop entry target, because we don't want to track through multiple targets um, in the screener. We just want to keep it alive so that, you know, to understand whether the pattern is in entry state or in, in, in trade state or whatever it is. So that's why we just have one, um, you know, target here. But in this case, if you see um, auto harmonic mathematics, you will have multiple target settings um, in this, um, you know, config, multiple configurable target settings. So um, that's required because, you know, we track multiple targets uh, with this script, uh, which is not required for the screener utility, right? And um, going to the other settings, um, the generic settings, uh, the base on which the pattern uh, targets has to be calculated, that remains same error percent. Uh, strict, strict scanning ratio is uh, related to the scanning and uh, applying the error percent in, in case of the scan has a range um, and the log scale um, that's like you know the ratios are calculated on a log scale instead of a regular um, scale uh, and also the targets uh, log scale you can apply in scanning as well as targets uh, when you apply in targets um, it will calculate the targets based on the logarithmic scale 
at category we already went through uh, trade settings uh, we already went through display options uh, is just what color you want uh, to use for the display uh, you can simply choose dark theme or light theme or you can also choose your custom colors by selecting the custom option from the theme right um and then the patterns okay so you just want to see like x a b c d labels um if you don't want to see the patterns you can disable this completely i want to see the patterns but you don't want the labels like x a b c d and the ratios and all these things you can disable them um you can also change the size of these uh labels you can increase the size of these labels but again uh, this utility is mainly used for um screening so the display on the chart you know it's not necessary for this particular script it is just kept there so that you know uh, we can verify what we are seeing in the screen of functionality uh, other than that it's not really um you know that prominent because if we need a display of ch patterns on the ch chart we should use auto harmonic pattern automatics and they should be used only for the screening facility right so um now let's go to the difference between this script auto harmonic screener ultimatics and the auto harmonic pattern screener so that's the old one so here also you can see that similar script uh, similar patterns are identified but the difference here is um it, you can't use this with pine screener utility so this applies a different logic um for example um what we what we have done here is um we use request.security to uh, add multiple symbols or get the data for ohlc data for multiple symbols and um, we scan through each of these symbols ohlc data and to understand what patterns they have and all these things this is okay this is kind of a like you know um workaround i would say because you know that time uh, when we developed the script this uh, pine screener utility was not available so this was something which we did um you know um, to provide the capability of screener um, harmonic screener to users Having said that, this has a lot of um, you know limitations. You can only screen, screen up to twenty symbols, and um, you know sometimes the data availability will create issues and all these things. So um, if you are if you are comfortable with using Pine Screener or if you are willing to explore Pine Screener, I would suggest like you know we you start using the new script instead of this one. All the existing users of Pine Screener, the existing Pine Screener will also get the access to new new Pine Screener utility that we developed. Um, it's automatically applied. The uh, access is automatically applied, uh, so you don't have to worry about this. So since we have um, developed the new script uh, in order to um, you know, um, retire the old one so whoever has the access access to the existing um, screener utility you'll also get the access to the new script right so uh, that's a major difference between the old screener utility and the new uh, settings almost uh, they're almost same actually but uh, it has more things with respect to alerts and all that's not required for the screener because uh, the new screener because it's supposed to be very lightweight and to be used with the pine screener okay so um that's about the difference between the old screener and the new one um so the indicator uh, components the indicator as an indicator settings we already went through uh, when comparing with ultimatex uh, so the last thing what we need to do is like how to use this with a pine screener utility uh, just note that you know i've used a bar replay here because uh, this pattern will go away with if i go back to the latest bar Oh, it's not there. Okay, it's not there. It's still there. That's good. Uh, okay, it's still there uh, because it's in entry. Okay, it's in entry, so it's still there. Um, okay, let's go to the Pine Screener utility and uh, find out uh, or like try to explore how to use this script along with the Pine Screener utility. So, uh, as I said before, we have already published this um, detailed video on how to use Pine screener utility so we'll not go to explain all the things so we'll explain as uh, as minimal as possible with this uh, in this tutorial so first thing is like you know you need to have a watch list so uh, how to create a watch list uh, using the maximum number of symbols uh, you can actually go to this video again the pi screener powerful tool for building programmable screeners so you can go to this video and understand like how to build the watch list uh, in an easier way um, I have some set of the um, you know watch list already. One is like a stock 
watch list which contains 100 symbols and then there's a crypto watch list which contains 159 symbols so let's apply the screener to this particular um, watch list the crypto watch list and see uh, what we can do right first we need to do uh, before uh, applying before using the pine screener first thing what you need to do is you need to go to the um, uh, indicator that is auto harmonic screen automatics um and then you need to add it to the favorites if you don't add it to the favorites it won't come up in the screener utility here so uh, i'll remove this file and i'll add that again so okay so um, once you add it to the favorites you'll be able to see that inside this choose indicator option so i'll go to the last auto mix screener automatics here so I'll select this one so you can scan straight away and you get the entries here but what i want to do now is i need to find out um all the symbols out of this 159 which has uh, a bullish pattern uh, you know awaiting for entry so there are uh, different kinds of conditions here bullish pattern awaiting for entry bullish pattern in trade means its entry is already crossed and then the bearish pattern awaiting for entry and bearish pattern in trade right so you can also change the settings here uh, if you select the drop down here you can go to the settings and uh, select most of the settings along, uh, choose all your settings like what is your entry ratio target ratio and all that will impact uh, these uh, conditions like an awaiting entry uh, and then in trade and all these things are impacted by this and also you can um, choose the patterns which you want to see uh, what all patterns you want to see uh, and uh, log scale settings um, the error percent length depth and all of the things what you select on auto harmonic pattern automatics you can select them here so the calculation bus that's actually the number of bars um on uh, where the calculation is run so the, uh, i've set it to 500 for now that's because uh, the max bus available in the screener is 500 um but in the indicator you will have higher bars available like you know you can um, do up to 20,000, 30,000 uh, bars and even maybe even more than that but the calculation based on the calculation bars the patterns may vary so there can be some uh, small discrepancy between auto harmonic pattern ultimatics and auto harmonic screener ultimatics because of that because auto harmonic pattern ultimatics will uh, look through more number of bars for example we have backtest bar set to 5000 here uh, we can increase it further but um, for a screener in the pine screener utility you can only use 500 bars Right, so uh, that may impact that may impact a little bit, uh, but uh, we are expecting that it should not be too much. Okay, so coming back to the pine screener utility here, so I want to, I want to calculate I want to filter these one fifty nine uh, crypto symbols, and I want to see how many of them have mm, bullish pattern awaiting for entry. So for that, what I need to do is select this and add a condition equals to one okay so the values of this plot can be either one or zero one means that there is a the the condition is true zero means the condition is false you set this condition here and also you want to choose the times times um, uh, time frame what time frame you want to do you can do it on daily hourly or one minute up to one minute uh, time, time interval so let me choose one hour for now and see what we, what it will give okay so for one hour we have only five symbols that has um, bullish harmonic patterns so let's check one of them avu so coming back to this so if you go back to avu here symbol and this is that uh, volta so we have a bullying, bullish harmonic pattern here which is waiting for entry so if you enable auto harmonic pattern ultimatics you can see that the entry is here because we have set the same entry criteria here it's like 30 percent and similar to this um, here the entry is 0 0.3 uh, entry ratio so until the price reaches here this pattern will be in um, you know waiting uh, waiting entry um, and once that is done what it will do is it will um, it will go into in trade mode okay so um, let's do one more thing let's also check um, on a daily time frame so let's say this is not one hour you want to check on a daily time frame and you can also do something like i want to check bearish entry which is a bearish pattern which is awaiting for entry right is equal to one and then select the time frame to one day 
and press scan again so it will the scan is applied on the original watch list and you see that 16 symbols are shortlisted in this case so let's check one of them arbi arbi uh, and this is the one which has the blue tag here uh, okay so bullish pattern uh, okay it has bullish pattern because we are still on one hour time frame let's uh, let's just confirm whether it's the same symbol arpi arbitrum and if i come here arbitrum yeah that's right so it's the same symbol but we need to switch to a daily time frame so let's go to daily time frame yeah you can see that there's a bearish pattern here which is waiting for entry and if we enable this we can see that um, there's a bearish pattern you can see that there's slight difference between the d pivot so that's intentional actually so what what happens right in in case of art or harmony pattern screener uh, when there's a new bar available it will consider this pattern instead of this uh, but in case of um, ultimatics what happens is until the invalidation is reached it will keep the this as a d pivot um, that's a minor yeah, you know um, architectural difference but uh, it it won't matter too much uh, considering both patterns are kind of uh, similar very similar it's just that the drawing is drawn uh, drawing considers that this has a pivot t instead of this one in case of screener right um that's about it um we have gone through a few things today like the difference between auto harmonic pattern automatics and auto harmonic pattern screener um and then uh, we have seen how to use both of them together and we have seen the difference between the old auto harmonic pattern screener and the new auto harmonic screener automatic script um, and we have dis uh, we have discussed on why it's better to use the auto harmonic screener with the pine utility rather than using the older script uh, which is based on the request dot security calls and which has a lot of limitations we have gone through the indicator settings and uh, we've also gone through an example of how to use this with pine screener uh, that's all from today uh, thanks very much for watching let me know if you have any questions um, otherwise uh, thanks very much and have a good day bye